Benny the Butcher is like a phenomenal rapper, bro. Like I heard him on the on the, the on the track that he did the other day with J Cole. My preference, personally, I don't think J Cole should have been on that beat. I mean, they definitely weren't talking the same way. They weren't saying the same things. They weren't. I don't know if they were together when they did the track. I don't know if if it was an email thing or how the the the, the, the track got engineered. But I don't know. It was it, it, it was it was a weird it was a weird duo to me. Like I didn't like the way how Benny was like talking some like street shit, and J Cole was like kind of like shitting on street shit. But I'm wondering if he was only straight shitting on street shit because he was with the real person. You know what I mean? Where it's like, if I talk like this, this person should this person knows I'm not talking about them because at the end of the day, I am speaking on behalf of them through what they're saying. Basically, I'm feeding off of what he's saying. But I, I don't know. I kind of didn't see it that way. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's all competition. Like you know what I mean? Like you're everybody's gonna go hard on on every, everybody else's beat if you're a talented wordsmith you know what i'm saying so i don't take it as a disrespect i take it as yo bro he needed a challenge he got a challenge it's just not my taste of music like j cole music is just just overall j cole music is not my type of music not to say he doesn't have good music that i haven't bumped and i listen to but j cole is not my you know what i mean it's not my that's not my go-to bangers you know like comment share subscribe if you want more content like this also, you know, he speaks the thing today where it was like, I keep preaching to you guys like about getting out the hood, getting out the hood, getting out the hood. Like, you know, like he was saying that, you know, he shed a tear when he was sitting with Hit Boy and they were, they were creating music, you know, and he shed a tear. And it was like, it was because, yo, bro, like I made it. You know what I mean? He wasn't saying like he was a celebrity or nothing. He was just saying like, yo, bro, like my family ain't hungry no more. I ain't got to worry about no police running at me. Like, I'm good. And I felt that. I really felt that. I felt that. Because, yo, late nights, if you haven't took one to the head and just been like, what if? No regrets, you know, just what if? Or how? That's a commonly question I ask myself. How? A very common question I ask myself is How? Like, you know what I'm saying? So to hear him speak and to hear him have that emotion about getting out of the hood and like feeling free of, of, of any like bondage that's holding him back to 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 this the, the, these places, not the place to these places. It's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. If you haven't listened to that interview, Go back and go back and listen to that, and you, you'll you'll you have a more of understanding of what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? You'll have a big way, 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 way deeper understanding of what I'm trying to say. But yo, we look forward to like listening to his music. I think he has a project coming out February 11th. I think that I don't think it's set in stone, but I think it's it's just he threw it out there, so. I'm throwing it out there real quick because yo, these are people, these are people that I listen to. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that I promote still. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you want more content like this.